Good afternoon everyone, P. Moody, and today's video is It's Time to Shake the Dust Off of Your Feet, Stop Going Back to the Wilderness. So I'm just going to go over two verses and then um, I'm just going to get into this. All right, so the first one is Matthew 10, 12 through 14. And then the other one is Exodus 14, 12. Again, that is Matthew 10, 12 through 14, and Exodus 14, 12. So let's start at Exodus. And it's 14, 12. And it reads, Didn't we tell you this would happen while we were still in Egypt? We said, Leave us alone. Let us be slaves to the Egyptians. It is better to be a slave in Egypt than a corpse in the wilderness. So we're going to get into that in a minute. The next one is Matthew 10, and it's 12 through 14. So it's Matthew 10, 12 through 14. Give me one second. I have a bunch of stuff in this Bible. All right. Matthew 10, 12 through 14. And it reads, When you enter a, the home, give it your blessing. If it turns out to be a worthy home, let your blessing stand. If it is not, take back the blessing. If any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. Let me read that one more time. When you enter a home, give it your blessing. If it turns out to be a worthy home, let your blessing stand. If it is not, take the blessing. Take back the blessing. Excuse me. If any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. Let me just read the next verse. I tell you the truth, the wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah will be better off than such a town on the day, on the judgment day. That's a lot. That in itself is a whole lot. So for one thing, um, let's talk about how the slaves wanted to go back to where they were captive, where they were bound. They said it would be better there. Then we say, leave you alone because they could not take it out in the wilderness. The other thing is um, the rejection saying, if you go to a place or a town or people don't receive you, they don't accept you, they don't accept your message, then you shake the dust off your feet. Those two things speak volumes because a lot of times when we get into situations that are uncomfortable, that God is putting us in to stretch us, to grow, to mature us, we don't like it. So what's the first thing we do? We run back to the same old people or the same old places or the same old things thinking, well, it was comfortable there, it was better there, so we should just go back there. Or we go back to the people who rejected us or abandon us, or refuse to accept us. And we just go, well, I just want to have somebody around, or I just want to be around people. So you lower your standards, you um, disobey God, because he told you, he was the one that told you to leave those people, so you go back. So now you're being rebellious and disobedient, all to feel comfortable. When the Lord doesn't do anything for no reason. He does not um, put more on, on us than we can bear. But yet, we still want to uh, run back to the wilderness and be slaves or be captive. And we still want to go back to the place that he no longer has his favor on with those people. And in that place, it's time to move on. He wants to grow us. He wants to mature us. We ask for maturity, but in reality, some of us are not ready for that because we say with our lips, but with our actions, we repeat the same old things. And when you go to those places, nothing new has changed. There's nothing new. There's the same old things, the same old talk, the same old ways. Some things may have slightly changed, but the heart of the people or the place or whatever it is, it's still the same. Don't go back. Don't go back to the wilderness. Shake the dust off your feet that like the Lord our God told you, and move forward. Go forward with him, trusting that he has your interest, the best interest at heart. That whatever he's leading you to do, he is strengthening your armor as you go. He's sharpening it so that you can be prepared 
for the greater things that he has for you. God bless you all. P. Moody. Have a great day.